So now what we need to do is we need to factor a solution where we have a negative middle term and a positive last term. So again, remember, when we're trying to factor, we're trying to undo our, uh, we're trying to set this into two different binomials multiplied by each other. And the important thing to remember, when we looked at our factoring term, Markel, when we did our FOIL phase, what we had was the first two terms always provided us with that, um, our first term in our trinomial, when we multiply them. So I think of what two numbers, in this case, are going to provide me x, x squared. Well, that's going to be an x times an x. Now, we need to think about what two numbers are going to provide us with 15. And this is going to be a little bit of an issue right here because there's multiple numbers that multiply to give us 15. So I gave you guys a little format to look at. And I told you, remember the quadratic form. So therefore, I told you to write C up here, B on the bottom, make a little dot for a multiplication, and a plus for addition. So C was equal to 15 and b was equal to a negative 8. Now, why do we use this? Because what I want you to do is, I want you to figure out what two numbers multiply to give you 15, but add to give you negative 8. Now think about all these numbers that add to give you 15. Remember, all the numbers that add to give you 15, so let's multiply. think about them. 15 could be 3 times 5, um, and 15 times 1, right? Also, you could do negative 3 times negative 5, equals um, negative 15 times negative 1. Now, remember I said this again. What two numbers multiply to give you 15, but add to give you a negative 8? Since this number is negative, which factors do I have to get? When, when you adding two positive numbers ever give you a negative number? No. So therefore, I don't even need to worry about my positive numbers, my positive factors. The only factors I can use are the two negative ones. So then what are my, which one of these add up to give me negative 8? Yes, Jason? Negative 3 and negative 5. So you write in negative 3 and negative 5. So your final answer would be x minus 3 and x minus 5. That's it. Done. Sense? Okay. Got two more to do.